I just want to tell people why we brought them here to set the frame for this conversation. Dan, just real quick, he'll tell you the story of, of being on the receiving end of the external pressure and the trauma. And Dana will tell you the story of how she's worked with parents and her family that were struggling with addiction and then with Dan. And so there's, there's these two different perspectives on this coming to, in this, this interview. You've got a mother who was trying very desperately to fix an issue she saw in her family, and then a son responding to that mother's call, and then the stuff that ensued after that. But what I want you to really focus on as you hear them is just the, um, not to put pressure on them, is that you can feel in the tone of their energy and how they tell the story that they've healed a lot of this. They've healed tons of it. And so that's the point that I want you to hear is listen with your heart, like to that part of it as they tell it. You said when you feel somebody that's coming at you with just love, with just that, it's almost like a child. You feel like that, the childlike sort of just unconditional love. It's like, well, I'll just tell you everything, you know? <laughs> and I've been on both sides of it. And it's, a, it's amazing on both sides. So looking back on it now, I just, I start to see that the external pressure that got put on me, I internalized it and it became part of the belief system internally that I had that was. And so I didn't need someone else doing it now because I was doing it to me. It was like life, life was kind of like this. It felt like this. And as soon as that happened, it was like this. And I remember that. I remember feeling that physically and kind of emotionally and just like shit. It was like tunnel, tunnel. Bed. But it was a very profound experience for me at the center. And I began to kind of understand how the pressure that I felt growing up and that I then put on Dan had affected me, our family, you know, um, that external pressure that Scott and Dan just talked about. And I also, it was like right at the end of when Dan was sharing about his crush on the woman that he's, he's involved with now. It's just this beautiful sort of sense of, I, I, I was taken back to a scene and, um, well, it was actually a, a line from the movie. I think it was the original movie, Jurassic Park, where one of the guys said, you know, life breaks out. <laughs> that's what it. That's what it feels like to me. It's like that. It's like what I learned to do in my family sort of squelch the life force. And so then I did that going forward in my parenting with Dan. And it's like life breaks out. Thank God, life breaks out. And I think life breaks out if you do the work. You know, if you, if you're willing to go there and look at you know all these beliefs and things that caused you to the fear that caused you to put external pressure on other people. Go to killabycenter.com Radical Recovery Summit for access to the interviews. You can watch them free online for 48 hours after they air, or you could purchase an all-access pass. killabycenter.com